So welcome back and welcome if you're new. In today's video, we're gonna be installing a wireless charger on a second gen. So if you guys out there do have a second gen Tacoma, this install is gonna be for you. It's actually gonna be a plug and play and it's super easy to install and it also looks factory. As you guys do know on the newer third gen Tacomas, it already comes with this. But as I stated, if you have a second gen, this install is gonna be for you. So let's go ahead and now get into the install. I'll show you what comes inside and just how to do it. All right, so here's the box. It is from Scotch, so we already know it's a good brand. If you guys do end up wanting to purchase it, it's gonna be in the description box below. But inside, of course, this one is for a 2005 to a 2015 Toyota Tacoma. If you guys do have other vehicles, go ahead and check out their website. There may be for yours, so you can check that there. Let's go ahead and open it and show you what's inside. So inside the box, this is basically what you're gonna get. You're gonna get your wiring harness. You're gonna get your uh, plate. Basically, what this is gonna be is this is gonna make it look for a factor install on the second gen Tacomas you guys will see where this exactly goes but this surprised me on how factory it's gonna look once we get it in the truck you're also gonna get of course this this is gonna be the port which goes into that and this is gonna be the main part which charges your phone so inside the package you're gonna get different options so this here is gonna be if you guys don't have a case on your phone this is what you're gonna apply as far as for us we do have cases on our phones so we're gonna be using this other plate over here so this one here is gonna be for or if you have an iPhone type of phone. And then this one here is gonna be for like if you have an Android. And this is gonna be your guideline, which you guys are gonna insert it here. You guys will see it in a minute, but this is what we're gonna be using to actually install it onto the phone so we do it correctly. You're also gonna get a cleaning wipe, which you're gonna to need to actually clean off the surface so it bonds to it. So uh, basically that's all that's there. And if you guys do have a different type of vehicle, go ahead and check it out in the description box below. It probably make it for your car. Let's get into the install. Now that we're inside the truck, I'm gonna show you what tools you're gonna to need. You're actually gonna need a drill and a drill bit, a half inch size, a socket, which is a 10 millimeter, a panel removal tool or a flathead. And you're also gonna need a Phillips head, which is the plus ones. It should take only about 20 minutes if you do this correctly. Let's now get into it. Now the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is remove the center console. You just have to pull it up. It's just held in with some clips. Once you do that, you're gonna notice right here in the center, there is gonna be four Phillips head screws that you are gonna to need to remove. Super easy, nothing too hard. But once you remove that, you wanna go ahead and remove the center piece right here where the cup holder is. It's only held in with clips, super easy. All right, so the next step is you're gonna remove this center piece with that. Just go ahead and pull up and it should release it. Just like that. Next step, you wanna go ahead and put the truck into neutral and then remove this piece here. It's also just held in with clips. Super easy, nothing too hard. And this step here is where you're gonna go ahead and get your drill your half inch and you're gonna actually cut out a hole. We've already pre-cut it. I know it's pretty ugly. We had to improvise because we didn't have the correct size, but basically you're gonna need that so that way the charger harness that comes with the scotch uh, actually fits through there. So we've already done that. Next step is you're gonna actually need to remove the stereo. This part is super easy. You wanna make sure this glove box is of course opened up and then you wanna remove that. Once you remove this trim panel right here, you're gonna focus on the bottom. Get your panel removal tool if you have one, if not a flathead, and remove the controllers for the AC. You're gonna notice there is two harnesses there. You just go ahead and unclip them. Sometimes having a flathead does help out just like that. Removes it really easy. Once you've done so, now you're gonna notice on the bottom of the radio, there is two screws. That's where you get your 10 millimeter socket. I remove those two so you can uh, release this. So once you remove those two, now you can go ahead and pull up the stereo out of the way. You don't need to remove all the connections, just go ahead and sit it down where it won't fall, and that's about it. Right here, you wanna go ahead and pull back the vents. Super easy, that's also held in with clips. The reason why is because we need to get to this bottom section. You don't need to remove it all the way. You just need to remove it enough to be able to access that yellow cord. It's gonna be the connection for the cigarette port, which you're gonna need to remove. This one is, I will be honest, a little bit harder, um, but just take your time with it and it should unclip just like that. Once you've unclipped it, you wanna go ahead and get your scotch harness that comes provided. It's gonna be a T connection. So go ahead and insert it underneath just like that. 
pull it right over. Once you have it in this section here, go ahead and grab your stock harness from the truck, get your uh, scotch harness and connect the two. Make sure they clip in and then the other side of the T connection, go ahead and now connect that to your actual cigarette port. Make sure that also clicks in. Once you have it there, you can go ahead and kind of tuck in the wires a little bit. Go ahead and now put back the panels just the way you took them off. Super easy, nothing hard about this. And don't forget to put the two screws back that go underneath the stereo that holds it into place. I'll put the climate controls back and connect it. That's set up, you wanna go ahead and set it back into neutral. Grab the piece that was here. Super easy, slide it right over. And just remember it's held in with just clips, so just kinda of clip it back together the way it goes. And if you remember, this is the harness from the scotch. You put it right through where you actually made the hole. As you can tell, we made the hole there. And this is the scotch harness that was connected to the cigarette port that we just did. Once all the plastics are aligned, now you wanna go ahead and put back your four screws that you took off from the center. Once that's done, let's go ahead and now put the panel that was here, which just clips into place. Go ahead and get your cup holders, put those back. Those also just snap into place. Now you wanna go ahead and get your provided uh, bracket that did come with the scotch. Put the harness that was provided as well that you connected to the cigarette port right through that hole. That is a pre-cut hole, you don't have to cut it. Put it in its factory location. And the cool thing about this is that's actually the same spot where it's at on the third gen Tacomas. So it's gonna look basically factory as I stated. And it's cool because as I stated, it's in the same position. You wanna go ahead and get your a charging pad. Go ahead and connect the connection. Then sit it into the bracket. Right. And then this next step, you wanna go ahead and turn on the truck. And the reason why is because the only reason, the only way you'll be able to tell if this is working, you'll see a green light when you actually put the phone on, then you'll see a blue light. So as far as for us, it's green, so that means we're good to go. It's nice and working. We're gonna show you now the phone process on what to do with that. So of course we've already installed it, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you anyway. So you wanna go ahead and get this one if you guys do have a phone case, of course. We do, and we're doing it on an Android phone, the Samsung 8. So on the provided uh, instruction manual right here, there is gonna be one of the uh, pads right here, which is already placed, of course, but one of these will be sitting here, you'll see it. And then on the top, you're gonna to notice there is a cutout. So for this bottom one, you wanna go ahead and peel it back. You'd then flip it over, put it in its designated location, which you wanna make sure to set this spot here underneath the camera. So once you have it right underneath the camera, you kinda of push down on here. And then looking up here, you grab the next one. It will be the universal if you're doing it on a case like us. And same thing, then that one, you will remove the backing, set it in its spot, which is right here. And then you can go ahead and now peel this back. And then this is basically what you would have. So now ours is ready. And as you could tell, it does have a case on it and it's still gonna work. Let me show you. So now that we're back on the truck, you're gonna notice it's green right now. We're gonna go ahead and set the phone on there. Wait for it to detect. And now it's detected, it's charging. And also, as you could tell, that blue light is now lit. So if that blue light is lit, it means it's charging. So there you guys go. Basically like a third gen, now into a second gen. So you got yourself a factory charging, uh, wireless charging. So really quick, you guys, I wanted to go ahead and step into my truck. As, as I said, uh, mine is the third gen. So as you can tell, it already comes with the charging port. So for those of you guys that do have a second gen and actually like this type of feature, uh, this is the video for you guys, of course. And uh, now you guys can have this same feature on yours. So if you wanna purchase it, it's in the description box below. All right, so if you guys do want this awesome feature, which all this of course comes with the brand new third gens, but for those of you guys that have the second gen still, of course you guys can get this onto 
into your truck. It's a super easy install, it takes about 20 minutes. It's pretty straightforward. And I also wanted to let you guys know if you guys do have a friend or anybody to help you guys out with this install, it seriously will make it a lot easier. Two minds, of course, think better than one. So there you guys go. If you want it, description box below. And if you guys like today's video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah.